Hi everyone, it's Dara here, and welcome to another round of Instrument Scavenger Hunt. So, you have to look and see if you can find and name the instruments. Are you ready? Here we go. Where are the instruments? Dun, 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 dun. This looks like my messiest room. It might be hard to find instruments here. And all this mess. Where are those instruments? Oh man, there's so many things here. Where are the instruments? Instruments. Okay, so that's pretty much the room, my um, computer room, I guess. And uh, did you see any instruments here? Okay, let's start over here. Well, th this one is a pretty easy one. Can anyone tell me what this is called? I hope you got it. It is a guitar. There's my guitar pick, and here's the guitar. There you go. So that's my guitar that I practice at home with. Okay, what else do we have? Now, did you see something here? What do you think that is? Is that an instrument? Let's check it out. Ooh, kind of looks like an instrument. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, this is called pan pipes, and um, you, you could see pan pipes in lots of different cultures, but I got these this set in Bolivia. I was traveling in Bolivia, and I got this, and I love the music in Bolivia. It's so nice to listen to, and the pan pipes, so each of these little um, tubes here make a different sound, and I'll see if I can play it here for you. And that's what it sounds like. It's pretty nice, eh? Alright, let's keep going. Now, I see a case here. Do you think there's something inside this case? Could it be an instrument? Let's open it and find out. Oh, it looks dusty. I don't know. Anyone play this? Let's see here. What is inside this case? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, what is this called? Anyone have a guess? It's too small to be a guitar. This is actually another ukulele. Maybe if you watch my other videos, you saw my pink ukulele. Well, this is also a ukulele. Um, and this isn't mine. This is actually my husband's uh, family's ukulele. Um, and uh, it's a nice pretty one. And it's kind of an old one, as you can tell by the case there. Okay, what else do we have? So we saw the guitar. Hmm, what's a here? Oh, anything here? Well, I noticed this here. Maybe it's another case. Maybe there's something oh, inside here. Hmm, let's open it up and see. Ooh, what is this? Anyone have a guess what this is called? Now this looks like a flute, and it is a type of flute. It's kind of like a modified flute. It's like a modified piccolo. Um, and if you look on the on the flute, it says, and excuse my poor language skills, but Zauberflute, um, which means magic flute in German. So I don't know if you uh, took music with Elizabeth, and maybe you talked about the uh, the opera, M the magic flute. Who? Who made that up? Do you guys know? Did you learn about Mozart? So there we have. There you have the, uh, the little flute here. Let's see what else we have. Let's keep going. Oh, anything up here? Well, this is kind of interesting. What's that? Hmm. Speaking of flutes, this looks like maybe a whistle that you blow into. 
Um, and it's actually a type of vessel flute. So you see while this flute is like a tube, this flute is more like a, like a vessel, like a, a tiny container. And it makes a, a bit of a different sound. And it's quite nice sounding. I kind of need two hands to play it, so I wonder if I could change it here. Here we go. sounds, it makes me think of a loon when you hear this. It's a very pretty sound. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. Now, this here, this is not an instrument. Exactly. Does anyone know what this is called? It's very strange looking. It's like oh, just a stick. Maybe it's a magic wand. Mm -hmm. No. This is called a baton and um, you see it maybe in an orchestra and they have the conductor playing the, directing the music and all the people on the instruments are watching the conductor and the conductor uses this baton so that they can see his movements they can see what he wants them to do so this is a baton and I've used this in class a few times so maybe you've seen it before there's my baton okay let's keep looking okay we see a lot of books here got a lot of books Okay, what's in here? Anything instrumenty? Some scales. Car. Ooh, what's that? Oh, this is interesting. What do you think this is? It looks kind of like a whistle. Almost a little bit like the vessel flute that we saw there before. Um, and yeah, this is a whistle I bought in Brazil. And the cool thing about this whistle is it has three holes and so it makes um, different sounds. So I'll play a little bit for you. Cool, hey? So you can make different sounds on your whistle. I think that's a pretty neat one. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, does anyone see anything that they recognize here? Oh, I've played that in class before. Let's see. Does anyone know what this guy is? I'll play some sound. It doesn't sound so good on the table here, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is a frog, as you can see. But it's also called a guiro. G-U-I-R-O. And um, there's different types, but what it is is you have these little bumps, and uh, you hit it, you rub it with a beater, um, and it makes some lovely music. And it's super cool because it looks like a frog. And beside the frog, I have a little froggy friend. <laughs> See this guy? What do you think this is called? How would I play it? Should I squeeze them together? Yeah, some castanet. <laughs> you can be friends with the frog. There we go. So that's kind of a fun uh, type of instrument. We're almost done. I think we got all the instruments. All I see there is books. Hmm. Oh, weights in case you want to work out a bit. And this, well, this looks like an old thing. What could this be? It's kind of cool. It has a license plate. It's like metal. Metal bit. Oh, look, I can see myself. <laughs> so this is an old... Um, machine kind of thing that people would use to wash their clothes. So they would get, let's say for example, um, take this pillow, they'd have their clothes and they would rub it in some soap and water and on this washboard and it would clean their clothes. This was before we had a washing machine. Well, people would also use this to make music because as you can see, it has these bumps and if you take something like a thimble, it kind of makes a fun sound. Oops. Come back. So you can rub it. And then you can hit some of these little sounds. So that's a washboard. And you can see this in kind of jug band music, old timey music. A uh, really fun instrument. And nice to watch, fun to watch. Alright, so 
those are the instruments I have in my computer room. I hope you found this interesting, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my game. Take care, everybody.